long does it usually take to feel like you're getting up to full speed with a new team? Uh, I mean, I think uh, in this situation, using the spring to be able to really get caught up to speed so when you go into training camp, you know, you're able to play fast uh, and be on the same page as everyone else. It's more mental. Yeah, yeah it's, more, it's definitely more mental. Uh, and obviously reps uh, when you're a receiver with the quarterback. How do you feel like you're adapting with Dak? I, I think it's going pretty well. Um, you know, we're using the spring to be able to do what we can. And obviously this summer, uh, you know, before camp, we'll, we'll continue to use that time to really uh, work together and get on the same page. some sessions set up, like during the – Break you guys had before. You know, he working on something. Yeah, he working on something. <laughs> little yeah. backyard. Yeah, no, you know, you never know. <laughs> Wherever it is, uh, you know, I'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did your teammates believe how fast you were? I mean, you really never know until you know, you know. So you had to give them a little, that's what I was saying, you had to get a little taste just to be like, all right, it's still there. And then, you know, we just, you know, we go from there um, and just keep building on that. CD said he would take turf, though, in a race. Hey, hey, you know, he been here with turf for a while, you know, so that's that's fine. I respect it. I mean, I, you know, turf fast, so <laughs> I'm not going to get into all that. You know, honey, y'all not about to bait me on that one. <laughs> so you're, not, you're not the fastest on the team? You're not about, you know, hey, I'm not going to speak for it. it. Maybe it is turf. You never know. Maybe it might be CJ. Uh, we're not going to find out because I ain't doing no racing, oh, at, yeah, this, racing. at this point. No, 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 not at all. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's been situations uh, for whatever reason. It's, it's been situations. Everything, you know, obviously, you know, it ain't all perfect. And, uh, you know, dictate what the coverage is sometimes, slow you down. But uh, that's what that's what it comes down to is just those reps, make, you know, getting on the same page, how people play, uh, so we can avoid that as much as possible. Do you feel like you can get anything that they're regardless? Uh, I mean, yeah, that's my mindset, absolutely. You played in a few different offenses. Yeah. How do you feel like this one compares to some of the ones in the past? I, I, I think it's special. I mean, obviously, you know, Coach McCarthy been doing it at a high level for a long time. Uh, every offense is going to have its little different nuances, but uh, I love it because, you know, we talk, let's play fast, let's get on the ball, let's attack, not wait for things to come to us. And I, I love that That's as an officer. No doubt, no doubt. Sounds like there's some options too, like some plays that got now, we, options. now we getting game, getting into game planning. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So uh, you're just going to have to keep watching practice and kind of figure that out. Right. <laughs> How does boxing help you? Uh, I think the cardio. And then, you know, obviously you talk about the hand-eye coordination, but I think if you can be in boxing shape, I mean, get a lot of respect for what those guys do because you're using every muscle in the body uh, at a consistent pace. So when you're doing it like that, uh, it's helping your cardio output to be able to repeat and run, uh, you know, down after them. I was saying it helps, like, when you're pressing guys, it yep. help you guys deal against pressing? You no doubt. And the hand-eye coordination, you know, getting off the press, uh, absolutely. Uh, I would say uh, this early this off season. So this is the first time you did in your career. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it something you even talked into doing, or no? It was one of those things I just wanted to get out of my comfort zone and really challenge myself into doing something that I'm not used to doing. So that was one of the things. Was it Micah to say, "Hey, come, I'm going to this guy"? Come oh, it was a little before that. It was a little before that. Yeah, absolutely. You look kind of work that Mike was already doing, and so y'all kind of do it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know, we uh, got a couple sessions in together. Uh, mm -hmm. Absolutely. You went against that one. Few times, yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, what, what kind of style of corner is he? And what does he bring? I would say, you know, the biggest thing I think about Steph is uh, how smart he is. Um, uh, we talk about that all the time. Uh, you know, he, the way his route recognition. Obviously, he can play, he can run, uh, but just the way that he's able to break down concepts and uh, kind of counsel out things. Uh, when you got a smart guy like that on the on the back end, uh, it definitely helps. The tandem of, of him and Trayvon. Yeah. Just talk about what, how good they can be. They can be special, no doubt. Uh, but we just got to, you know, as, as Steph says, you know, we just got to go out and prove it. You, you know, you can talk about it, but uh, they got to go put it out there on the field. Sorry, I'm late. Sorry, I'm late. How good was it to be able to show off some of your speed in that today? Oh, no, I mean, it, it was good, you know. <laughs> uh, just to be able to get a little bit of that taste, uh, uh, just really how that, that can. I mean, he can throw any ball. Uh, so to be able to experience that a little bit here before we break off in the summer, uh, that, that was definitely a good note to be able to end on. No, I won't be racing nobody. No, no question, no doubt. It's one thing to run fast, but to be able to play fast. And all those guys we talked about, though, they play fast as well. So um, at the end of the day, we on, I'm just glad we're on the same team. 
Yeah. They yeah. talked about you running fast all the time. Like that's your your motor going like that. Yeah. That's part of what the boxing does. So you can be able to be always. Back. I mean, you know, it's one thing to be able to do a rep here, take a cup off, and do it a rep again. But uh, if you can do it, you know, repeatedly, that speed, repeat, repeatability, uh, that's where you start to be able to gain something special. Yeah. CD's talked a lot about how. Yeah. He your presence can open up a lot for him. Yeah, what absolutely. About, what about vice versa? What do you think he can open up for you? I mean, I, I, obviously we all know CD is uh, playing at the top of the game, you know, especially this last year. So, uh, you know, early on that 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 um, that recognition that, you know, paying attention to him is going to be there. So it's going to be other guys having to step up. And once people see, oh, wait a minute, they got some other dogs there that can beat one-on-one, -on -one, now you start having to play true to your coverage. You've been really consistent mm -hmm. on a thousand yard season. Mm -hmm. No question. I mean, especially you know these last three years is, uh, you know, having having won a lot, and so I think when you start to get in that aspect of competing, uh, having a chance to win, and uh, being a part of something special, obviously that takes your game to a next level uh, naturally because everyone else around you is playing at that high level. I get it's only been a few months, but in terms of Dak's leadership presence, yeah, in the locker, yeah, yeah, is it noticeable? Yeah, like no doubt, it? no doubt. Right away, that was one of the first things that. I saw about Dak, just the way that he naturally leads. Like I said, I follow him into the front line just because he comes in. Uh, he don't just talk about it. He puts the work in himself as a quarterback. Um, and so I got a lot of respect for him from that aspect because he, he demands it of himself, not just from us as well. And that's not common necessarily in the NFL. Like not every quarterback has that type of presence. Um, I mean, it, it, it's all depends. Everyone, do, you know, do it a little differently. But he is vocal about it, and, and I love it, you know. Yeah, he's in command. Uh, probably gonna have to watch NFL All Access for that one or something yeah. like that. <laughs> so, I'm still getting to know him. You know, I'm still getting to know him from that aspect. Yeah. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one.